you guys, it's Brittany and welcome back to my channel. So today I am filming the last week of January going into the first week of February, or the first two days really of February, which is so wild to me that January is ending and we're already going into February. The second month of the year, I mean, I feel like everybody said this, but God, like time really does fly and clearly 2020 is no exception. So I am using this kit going back to my tried and true beautiful planning. I know I haven't technically done it. Well, I did do my monthly but i ended up not filming it i had some like ink problems so by the time i finally got new ink um yesterday saturday i'm currently filming this on sunday this is what my monthly is currently looking like but um yeah so because of that <laughs> i wasn't able to film this but i will start filming my monthlies again i just missed this one but anyways so i am using this kit from like i said earlier beautiful planning this is a printable sticker shop in case anybody is new this is my favorite one my go to and I also have a coupon code it is Brittany 15 that'll save you 15% off I will put the information to it in the description box but when I saw this clip art I knew I wanted to use it in February typically February I use all Valentine's Day kits except the last week is my birthday week and so I always do some toy of what did I just say I said type really weird I think I said it like toy but I do some type of birthday kit um, so anyways I knew I wanted to use this sometime in February and this weekend actually, the Friday or Saturday, we are going to a birthday party. So I thought this would be perfect for the birthday party and it's also Valentine's. So I was just like, yes, 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 this is perfect. So this is the kit. Like I said, this is a clip art. This is the clip art from Glam Art. I think you say it Jana or Zana. I really like her art that she does. Um, and I am using an extender box. And yeah, this is not, by the way, if anyone's new, this is not how your kits come. Don't worry, they're not going to look crazy like this. But I do something that I call the crop method. And I'm going to have to make my planner go all kinds of crazy for me so I can get it, all the stickers done right. But um, yeah, so I call it the crop method. And it's basically where I crop and print and cut only the stickers that I want and need slash will use so i'm starting to think i probably should have whited out these lines on the bottom um how see-through is that hold on here mm, it is kind of see-through but also at the same time it's nothing to cry home about which i know who the heck am i saying that i have a little bubble of course um come on well thought this was gonna be a quick one but I don't know I hope so because I'm so tired I am filming this like I said on it's a Sunday I think it's like it's almost nine o'clock so I know for some people that's not really like super late and for me I guess it's not that late like last night I didn't get to bed till almost midnight but Oh, I have to wake up early because, you know, it's Sunday. So I have to wake up early on Monday to, for my daughter for school. And I'm just like, ugh, Monday. I'm just like not looking forward to waking up early. It's nice to be able to, I guess, somewhat sleep in on the weekends, which today, this never happens. I'm usually up. Like sleeping in for me is usually like 7, 7.30. But today, I didn't wake up till like just a few minutes after 8.00 which seemed so crazy to me. I was like, wow, I feel like a rebel right now. Like who the heck am I waking up so late? But it was nice and I'm definitely not complaining. Yes, I know, I'm still filming on the floor. I swear y'all, I will ask my husband eventually to hang up the shelves, but he just works so much. I feel really bad. Like I know when he comes home, I just hate to bother him and like ask him to do more. Cause he's already like, you know, done so much. So. But, I mean, obviously, I know if I ask him, he's going to do it. But I just want him to, like, be able to come home and relax. Especially because he's done so much recently with, like, house stuff. So, but I am going to ask him. Maybe this week or maybe next week. I don't know. We'll see what our schedule is looking like. But, oh, I'm so excited about this kit. I seriously think it's so pretty. I'm so excited for this week. This week is definitely going to be, I feel like it's going to be, a busier like I feel like it's gonna be busy but also not super busy just I guess I just think it's gonna be busy because of the party but I'm really excited we're gonna go to Austin for the party and um 
It's Avery's fifth birthday party. And that is Alondra's bestest friend. So, of course, we're going to go to her birthday party. We're really excited about it. Alondra's very excited about it, especially because the girls, like I said, they really are just the best of friends. And it sucks that we live, I don't want to say far away, because we used to live farther. Like, I used to live in California, and they were in Austin. So, being in Dallas and now them in Austin, obviously, it's a lot better and easier to see each other. But still, it's not like I can be like, hey, let's go meet at the park at, you know, this time. You know, like, let's have a play date type of thing. So, I'm excited that they got to see each other, like, back to back so quickly. Um, and, yeah, it's going to be a good time. I just know it. And I'm excited, too, because my husband got the day off from work. So, now he is able to go to the party, too, and make the drive with me. So, that'll be nice. Okay, so this is how I set up, I have to do it this way though, um, my week in the new Erin Condren. So I have to do glitter headers first. I don't know, I just found that it is the easiest to do it that way, so that's just how I'm kind of doing it now. So I have to do the top glitter headers and then the bottom glitter headers. Then I do the full boxes. And then after that, I do the middle headers and which is pretty nice because typically with the middle headers, you only have to like eyeball two of them. So it's kind of nice. You have a little bit of a, um, a guide here, so to speak. So let me go ahead, get these in. Hopefully I'm doing the right colors in the right order. I'm a little curious to see how the sidebar is going to be um, just because I used to have it down to like a science on how I do it or whatever. So now I'm not 100% sure if it's going to line up like with how I calculated it, I guess you could say. So we'll see. Um, hopefully it does. But if not, I can... I'm sure I can finagle something. I better check too to make sure I am still recording. My camera kept cutting out on me like so many different times last week and it was so frustrating. We're recording, we're good, okay. Um, all right, so I'll get this in. I love these donuts too, like obsessed. If you guys don't know, I am a donut lover. I love donuts so, so much. So this will be red that can't be right because then blue it doesn't go red blue oh it does i guess red blue because red's the last color okay i guess we're good so blue then pink i almost confused myself i don't know why putting down the headers confuses me so much but it does Okay, so then, as you can see here, I just have to eyeball this one, and that is the blue color. Oh my god, I love these colors so much. I love this kit so much. I just love everything about it. I think this might be my favorite Valentine's art, not gonna lie. And it is funny, too, because I didn't realize how, until I was doing the clip art, does that look even, kind of? Um, but I was like wanting to print clip art or whatever. And I didn't realize how, I guess you could say, bitchy the hearts are. Like, well, these ones aren't bitchy, but where's the page at? Oh, here it is. Like it says like, hell no, no chance, nope, next, go away. And I was like, oh, bite me is another one. And I was like, oh shit. I did not realize they were that bitchy. So it's just kind of funny that I'm using this for Avery's birthday party, but like the heart, like candies or whatever are like so bitchy and it's like, whoopsies. But I mean, it's not like the end of the world. It's just kind of funny, but hopefully Avery and Alondra will be like that when they're older and people are like trying to be like, yo, let me get your number and be like, next, hell no. <laughs> but, oh God, let's not even think about that right now. Too young. I'm not even like still. Alondra's been five now. Why can't I put this down? Alondra's been five now for two weeks, and I still can't like process the fact that my baby is five. Like, I'm still having a hard time. I'm not crying anymore. 
So that is definitely an improvement right there. It's just, ugh, my baby's five. I don't like it. It hurts my mommy heart. So anyways, but all right, let's get this down. I feel like I have nothing to talk about, which is kind of like wild. I'm trying to rack my brain and be like, what did you do last week? And honestly, last week was a really low key, mellow, chill, do nothing kind of a week. I will say uh, basically what I've been doing is just working on my Sensi business. Um, getting a bunch of mailers together uh, to like mail out because the spring summer catalogs comes out February 1st. So I have just been getting all of my, ma am I obsessed, right? Hold on you guys. Blue, pink, yellow, red, blue. Okay, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. Um, what was I talking about now? But yeah, I've basically just been doing that. Like I've been doing it all day today. I did it all day yesterday. Um, I did it a couple of days ago. I was also doing a lot of emails and follow-ups. Um, yeah, I've just honestly been really focusing on the business. So if you don't know, I am a Sensi consultant. If you don't know what Sensi is, it is, sorry, I was trying to line that up. Um, well, there's more products than, you know, wax and warmers, but it's basically the safest way to candle. So if you have pets and kids, even if you don't, but I mean, especially if you have pets and kids, I mean, it's so much more safer than candles, especially since, you know, candles are a hazard. But anyway, so you guys probably see like they have the like the knockoff versions at Walmart, etc. Um, but yeah, so it's basically a warmer and I'm just trying to line that up perfectly. There we go. So it's a warmer and then they have so many different designs, different sizes, different styles. And then they have wax, which I know a lot of people also call them wax melts. So, and then you just, you know, put a cube in and it will, the light bulb inside will melt it down. And yeah, you'll release a beautiful fragrance. So that is basically in a nutshell what Scentsy is. It's amazing, I love it, I'm obsessed, obviously since I'm a consultant, but um, yeah. So I've just been focusing a lot on that, which has been nice because I feel like I've been slacking with it and so oh, you know i want to wait on this one so it was nice to kind of like get back in the groove again and things like that so anyways that's basically all this week was it wasn't really nothing too major or exciting happened yeah i watched the mandalorian i finally watched that i know i'm hella late to the game I watched it in two days. My daughter and I, which like I said, my daughter is five. She got so into it. She was, it's so funny. She really gets into like a lot of, I guess, movies and stuff. You would think four, five-year-olds, like she was obsessed with Game of Thrones. I don't worry. I didn't let her like watch the sex stuff, which I feel like they really toned down a lot of the sex scenes, especially like if you watch like, is it the first episode of the first season? That's like, holy cow, like you're watching porn, not even like soft corn porn. But um, yeah, so I, she didn't see all that now. Um, but she was like into like all the fighting and stuff. My, my girl's crazy, I love it though. So anyways, but yeah, she's very much into like that kind of stuff. So I don't know, but I like it. And so she was very much into it. And of course she was obsessed with Baby Yoda. So, oh, she, she, I mean, I think everybody is obsessed with Baby Yoda because he's so dang cute. And oh my God, I love this so much. I'm also thinking I want to white out the, the numbers, not the dates, but just the numbers and do like just the date dots. I know Kirsten did that in her last plan with me. So I really want to try that. And I think I might do it for this week, might as well. And now I need to see, cause I have a taller box here. This is also why I was saying, I'm not sure how, if I measured everything correctly, but I think I did. Oh my God, at least I hope I did. Um, but like I said, if I can't add everything in the sidebar, it's really not a big deal. That is one reason why I love these tall boxes with beautiful planning because 
I mean, sometimes you just don't have a lot of crap to put in your sidebar, you know? And it's like, okay, what am I gonna put in? And so a tall box is great for that. And I love this one too. It reminds me so much of Alondra and Avery because Alondra has, I think this girl has, nah, I don't think that's black. I think it's like a super dark brown and she's got tan skin and then, which is Alondra. And then Avery has like a blondish light brown hair, light skin. So it definitely reminds me of Avery and Alondra. And I just think it's so cute and perfect. So now let's see, sidebar. So I have yellow, so I guess we could just do blue. Why not? We'll just go and order. Instead of doing glitter headers, I'm going to do, or like washi strips, I'm gonna do like these bows. I just think that would be really cute. So I'm gonna put this in. I think that needs to scoot over. I don't know why, whenever I do my sidebar, always the little dots off to the side like to show up. And I don't know why that is, but I don't like it. Oh, they're still showing. Something must be crooked. But like what? I don't know. I need to scoot this over. Oh gosh. Oh no, I bent it. That's the only thing with the extender. You have to be like super careful to not bend it. Okay. Did we fix that? Okay, we fixed it. So then I need a pink and then I'm going to do a half box. This is starting to go crooked. I don't know why lately I cannot get my sidebar down straight to save my life. I like that the dots are like the line. The lines are now like the actual length of a full box. But at the same time, I'm kind of like, Ugh, you messing me up. Okay, what color is my checklist? Blue. Okay, so I'm gonna do this pink half box. Or do I wanna do the .711? I think I wanna do a half box for my birthday countdown. Or, hmm, nah, I'm not going to. I'm gonna do one of these. It needs to go like this, I think. Just to see if I can fit everything. Okay, then we do yellow. I was going to put two things in the sidebar, but I don't think I'll be able to. Because then if I put this, let me see. Actually, I might have to put the half box. Hold on. I'm thinking here, y'all. Oh, no. I think. Oh, shit. This is red. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Gotta switch this. Maybe this will work. And I'm just tripping. But it's my first time. So hold on. And I put this down crooked. This will be good to know then for the future. So that way, if I want to do a tall box, I can just go back, look at this, and see exactly how I did it. And I won't have to play the guessing game and see what'll fit and what won't fit. Okay, so. No, there's a little bit of space. Okay, so half box it is because then it won't be so much space. Sorry, y'all. Oof. And then I guess too, if I wanted to not do a to-do, like a three heart checklist, I could do a half box. I could probably do like two half boxes and then the, the monthly. And I could probably do less washi strips in between. It's just gonna be, oof, a figure it out as we go type of situation is basically how that's gonna be. But we'll figure it out one way or the other. Plus two, the sidebar. I don't know, it's kind of fun switching it up. I used to do this box, I don't really think I did, I only think I did it for one month in um, the 2019 planner. I think I only did it for January, maybe February too, and then I stopped doing it because I would honestly not know what to put in it. I would be like, all right, I don't know what to do. And I would literally leave it blank for like weeks on end. Like the week would be over like weeks ago and then I'd be like, all right, well I guess I need to fill this in with something and I would just like make something random up. So I stopped doing it, but Oh yeah, that's hella crooked. Somehow it went crooked, but um, I honestly don't know how. I'm trying to see if there's like any gaps, but 
And I feel like on the bottom, like you can't tell too much with like the white space, but it is down, so that is good. And then for over here in the half box, I was originally thinking I was gonna put a half box and then a quarter box. That way I was gonna put my countdown. So I'm gonna do a countdown for my birthday and then I was gonna put in Hello February, but it's not gonna all work with what I was thinking. So it's a good thing I had a backup plan. Where's my countdown? Here it is. So it's gonna be a three weeks to my birthday and I have this sticker here from Once More With Love. It says happy birthday which I was thinking about cutting it off, but no, nah, I think it's fine. I think as I say that, I'm like, I don't know. Is it fine? Yeah, it's fine. I'll put three weeks right here. And I'm so happy I finally get to use this sticker. I feel like I've had this sticker for forever from Once More With Love, but the colors are just so random, like the yellow and the red and the blue. But surprisingly, it works perfect in this kit because we have yellow, red, and blue. So I was like, yes. And then the only thing I have left to use is this one with these presents, but it's been really hard to like match these to a spread. But anyways, I'm excited I got to use that. I really don't like that though. I don't like how up that is, but this is probably gonna be hard to pull up. I don't wanna rip it. Oh, too late. You ripped it, girl. All right, we're gonna leave it. Ugh, I don't like the way that looks though. I feel like it needs to be centered. I guess I should have put down the happy birthday first. Or not the happy birthday, but the, the munchkin first. Um, can I move it down a little bit? Okay, maybe I can pull up just this W part of the weeks and then just like layer that on top. Ugh. Yeah, okay. I like that a lot more because that was not looking cute. Okay, so. Now I decided I do want to go ahead and do the foil just because, I don't know, I think that's really cute and I want to try it, might as well. And these foiled numbers or date covers, whatever you want to call them, they are from my friend Bailey. She knows how to foil, so she foiled them for me and sent them to me. So thank you so much, girlfriend, and I'm excited I get to use them. And I think it'll be cute too to add a little bit of foil. I've been trying to not do as much foil in spreads just to see what it'll be like to, you know, plan quote unquote normal again. I have been still using like foil in some of like the boxes, but I haven't been going like crazy with the foiled icons, if that makes sense. I don't think I used any foiled icons the past two weeks. So. And I actually like it. Like at first I thought I was like, why am I doing this? I'm gonna hate it. But I actually really like it. So, but for my birthday, let's not get it twisted. Your girl is gonna go all out. I wish I could go all out with hollow. Actually, I wish I could go all out with rose gold because rose gold is my favorite foil. Comment down below, what is your favorite foil? Mine is rose gold. I love hollow too. Hollow is beautiful. Um, but I am going to use a Ravenclaw kit for my birthday week, just because, I don't know, I wanted to switch it up, because I feel like every year I do a birthday kit, and I just wanted to switch it up and try to do, like, something a little bit different. And then also the monthly that I'm doing is a birthday monthly, which I think is super cute. Um, so I figured, like, oh, that'll be, like, kind of, you know, like my birthday kit, since it's a birthday monthly spread, you know? So... Anyways, um, yeah, I'm gonna do a Ravenclaw kit. Obviously, that means I am Ravenclaw. Oops, my camera is about to die. I am so glad I caught that. But, oh my God, I love the numbers at the top. They are so freaking cute. Okay, yay, I'm glad I did that. Um, is that everything? Yeah, so that's everything. We can go ahead and flip this back in half and try not to bend it, and we'll zoom in a little bit here, and we can go day by day. So the only thing that I have for Monday is this plan with me. Um, I actually do want to try to, I think I want to use a yellow one. No, I'll use pink. Um, I do want to try to go, well, I have a couple of errands that I like, I made like a to-do list tomorrow morning after I take my daughter to school. 
So I will probably go and do those. Like I need to go to Dollar Tree. It's basically the Scentsy stuff, like I said, that I've been trying to work on. Like I ran out of envelopes. I ran out of stamps. And of course I went to go buy stamps today, but I didn't have enough. So I need to get envelopes, buy stamps. And then I also need to mail what I already have done to get those sent out. And then I also will need to come home and edit this video and upload it. So I'm gonna put that upload down here. And I'm obsessed with this new upload. So Stephanie from Beautiful Planning, she created these new uploads and they are so cute. I love the way they look so much. Like, girl, they are on point. Um, okay, so then on the 28th, I have two birthdays. And instead of putting a million balloons, because typically that's what I would be doing. Um, I'm only going, I, I decided to switch these up and basically make them look like little, oh, you guys can't even see, make them look like little things. So these are presents that were actually in the, um, they were in the monthly. So like her holidays sheet of the monthly. And I saw the presents and I was like, oh my God, this would be perfect to put on a little thing, you know, just like a blank little thing here. Actually, you know, you can just modify it to like change it like a little thing and make it like one whole color. And then I just layered the present on top. Well, I changed the present white, layered on top, grouped, cut edge, and then there you go. So I have my own like little present little thing and I thought that was perfect. So it's gonna be my, I almost said my stepdaughter. Whoa, I do not have a stepdaughter. What in the hell am I thinking? Oh my God, this is my, oh my God, what is she? Candy, what are you? My sister-in-law, oh my God, my stepdaughter. How do I go from sister-in-law to step, oh my God. Anyways, my sister-in-law and then my grandpa. So they have the same birthday and that is it for Tuesday. And then on Sunday, or on Sunday, oh my God, y'all, I am a hot mother effing mess. Um, Sunday, or no, not Sunday, what am I, what am I doing? <laughs> something's wrong, you guys. I don't know what's wrong with me, but something's wrong. Okay. Um, we're going to put in a, I was going to do a half box when I want a half box for Avery's birthday. So we're not going to do a half box. I'm going to use in one of these. They're not quarter boxes. They're bigger than a quarter box and they are smaller than a half box, but I just modify. So basically Stephanie makes the half boxes obviously. And I just modify the size to 0 0.711. I think I've been asked this before. Um, what size do I make them? So I make it 0.711 and I leave the width at 1.5. And I feel like it's honestly the, the perfect sizing. And I love this size box. I actually like it more than half boxes. But on this day, um, my daughter has school pictures. So I got these stickers here from Fox and Cactus. They have pink hair and tan skin, which is perfect. Not that my daughter has pink hair, but the pink hair matches perfectly the spread. My daughter has tan skin. And I won this from Laura Lee Plans. She had a giveaway and I got to be the lucky winner. I don't know how, but just fate was on my side and I have been wanting to order from Fox and Cactus. Um, I have some stickers from Fox and Cactus, but they were given to me um, actually from Stephanie. <laughs> she was de-stashing stickers and then just gave me a couple of sheets that she had. And then I think two other sheets that I have, um, I got from the SPC planner party. And then now I have this one and I got, I think two other sheets from Laura Lee. So thanks Laura Lee. Um, but yeah, the giveaway, I, I was so shocked when she sent me that message and obviously so stoked. I, I still like can't even believe that I actually won. And yeah, very, very, very excited about all that. So um, that is gonna be for her school pictures. And then I realized I don't have camera stickers. So I really do need to get some. But I think this little cute little girl smiling is perfect. And then I also have, what you can't even see, a bill due. I got four bills due this month. Gotta love that. Not really, but you know. Um, so I got four bills. So I got one here. And then also I do have another birthday. Surprise, surprise. This is like the month of birthdays is January. January is so packed with birthdays. Um, and unfortunately, I can't even celebrate these three because they're all... Far away, my grandpa lives in North Carolina and my sister-in-law, and this is actually her daughter, um, Valentina, they live in San Diego and we're hoping to be able to visit them during my daughter's spring break. I like that's, okay, I have dog hair all over my planner. That is the 
the hope and kind of the plan that we can make that happen because we haven't seen them, which is really sad, in, in a year. It's been just over a year and it really makes me sad, especially because Alondra and Valentina are so close. Um, that's the saddest thing, honestly, about moving away is not being able to be with, you know, the kids and she can't grow up with her cousins. And I know she misses them so much and it breaks my heart. Um, and obviously, you know, the family too, but just more so like, I want her to know her cousins and remember them. But ugh, Alondra has a brain like, is it elephants that have really good brains or memories? Which I don't know, how do, how do people know these things? Like how do whoever studies animals, how do they know that elephants have great brains? Like, is that what it is? Or is it that they have the smallest brain? I have no idea. But anyways, she does not forget like anything, which is really wild. Um, anyways, this is all that I have for Wednesday. Um, not Sunday, Wednesday. Okay, let me move this book because it keeps messing me up. Thursday, I have nothing. Friday, I have nothing. Saturday, I have a lot of ish going on, but I think I'm gonna wait to put everything down. It's Saturday is the launch of the Spring Summer Scentsy Catalog, so I wanna mark that. I have two bills due. We have the party going to Austin. So that's why I put the extender because like I said, a lot is going to be happening, but I just want to, I'm basically going to back plan and memory plan this whole day just because I want it to look perfect. So I'm going to wait on planning this day out. And then on Sunday, I just have my Costco bill due. So I will put that down and I will probably use the blue, the blue box. Where's all my boxes? Have I used them all already? No. Yeah, I'll do the blue one, I think. I don't know why it matters, but that's what I'll do. Oh, and then also too, I wanna try to have a video go up Friday and then Saturday. I'm hoping for Friday will be a Scentsy video. Um, my daughter and I smelling, can I line this up properly? Smelling the new spring summer scents. That's a video I do basically every year or every catalog change and she loves to do that video with me. So I wanted to film that and have that go up on Friday. And then Saturday, I want, cause there's no way I'm gonna have time to edit before we leave for the party. So I really wanna have my February plan with me go up, the monthly plan with me. So that is the, oh, it's also Super Bowl Sunday. That's what I wanted to mark too. Not that I give two craps about Super Bowl Sunday, cause I don't. Foosball is the devil. Um, I still wanna mark it just because, you know, you can go back and look at it and be like, all right, yeah, football. So how big is this script? I had to Google the game. It is at 5.30. So I guess I could put it here. I don't really know if anything's gonna happen before, but YOLO. And then I also have, um, I'll definitely probably film. There's no way I will be able to film uh, Saturday, film this, or not this plan with me, but next week's plan with me. There's just no way. I'll also need to print and cut stickers. Oof. But I'm just gonna mark it. I guess it doesn't really matter where it goes because I'm not gonna, I might actually put it up in here in case I don't use another box. That's why, that way it's not like box, box. Does that make any sense? Hopefully you guys understood. Super Bowl Sunday script is from Stephanie. It was in her February holidays, like the monthly holidays. So I use that and I need to grab, I have a little football sticker, hold on. So I got the Wonton and a Million from Michael's, the travel book. And I noticed on here, there is a little football. And I primarily got this because I want the Hawaii sheet. I'm trying not to glare you guys or give you guys a glare, but I still, I did a poll on my planner Instagram and asking you guys, oh, there's a wonton or whatever this guy is holding a football, but it's like a dark blue. Now I'm gonna use like the little football. Like how cute, when I saw that, I was a little sad though because I was hoping with the Texas one it would have a Bucky's because I think the one that she sells in her shop has a Bucky sticker and we are gonna definitely be going to Bucky's.
probably going to the birthday party and stopping there after because my daughter is obsessed, but how cute is that? I don't have any football stickers and that is adorable. So anyways, but like I said, I posted on my planner Instagram if you guys wanted me to still do... First of all, do you still want me to do a flip through of 2019, the spreads? And it was a yes. And then I also asked about still doing the, um, the what do you mean to call it? Sorry, I'm just transferring these two stickers over here. That way I don't forget that they go here. Yes, these go with the monthly. Um, okay. What was I saying now? I totally forgot. I'm so sorry, y'all. Uh, oh, the because we did go to... I'm going to put this here and then cut it. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, we did go to Hawaii. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm having like... I don't know. I'm having brain issues right now. But we did go to Hawaii in September and I didn't plan out that week, like pre-plan. I haven't done any planning, to be honest. And I had asked you guys like on a poll if you wanted me to do a rewind plan with me and it was basically a unanimous yes so i was like all right i'll do one so i just don't have any hawaii stickers that's why it took me so long to well i still haven't even filmed it but that's why it has been taking me so long to even try to film it it's because i realized i don't have um, Hawaii related stickers and I've been wanting to get the um, oh my god that's so cute I've been wanting to get them for a while whenever I saw the wonton in a million but I just never picked them up so finally got them and I'm finally going to film film that so I'm excited um, to find I am convinced that my camera just doesn't like when I film plan with me is because it stopped recording out of the blue Battery's not dead. I have memory on my memory camera, on my memory camera, on my memory card. I don't know. I'm just convinced it like legit hates me and it's really getting old. Oh, but I don't even know what I was talking about now. So anyways, hopefully I measured all, I feel like I say that whenever I put Deco down. I hope I measured this right, but I do. I think I did. I think I did really good with the Deco this week. Let's just not jinx myself. It's just so funny how bitchy these hearts are. It's just like, I'm like, oh yeah, I want to use this, you know, for the birthday week. And then it's just the hearts are so bitchy. It's just kind of funny. But it's cute. It's cute. Okay, how much deco do I have left? This one says, you wish. This one says, bite me. <laughs> oh my god. Maybe I'll... Maybe I should move the candle over. I just wanted to put the candle there to, oh, because it took up the white out. No, we can't do that. And I think that's funny. I've been talking about Scentsy and then I got a candle right here. But it's part of the clip art. <laughs> I still think it's funny though. Isn't it ironic? Okay, so bite me. Um, I'll put the bow right there. And then I got another little heart. I'll put you right here, whatever. You say, nope. And that is all the deco. And then what I have left is just the two bill dues, because obviously I will put them for Saturday. Other boxes, some uploads, because I'm hoping to get two other videos up this week. And then some like icons that I will be using. So, um, yeah. Uh, again, you get so much more with, oh shoot, I forgot I had the Hello February that I wanted to use. <laughs> we gotta move the deco. Cause I was gonna put this Hello February in the sidebar. I mean, I technically could always just put it here, but I really like the idea of putting it up there because it adds more foil. So that's what we gonna do. So <laughs> bye to you candle. It's funny too, cause the candle says, boy, bye. So, all right, oh, I ripped the bow. I ripped the bloody bow, but you know what? It might be okay. Okay, so I'm gonna put the Hello February here, which is perfect, I think. Hold on, let me put these stickers down. Shoot, it's not gonna cover up. Okay, it's fine, I got the white out out. I hate these like little hexagons, they're so dang ugly. 
Okay, that's gonna be cute. Okay, I'm excited, I'm excited. So, hello February, I'll put, bite me right here. And then I'll put the candle like that. Maybe I need to move over the heart glasses. Maybe I'll put the heart glasses like this. Oh, yes, 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 yes. And then I'll put this right here. Boy, bye. Oh my God. <gasps> that is cute. I love that. Okay. And then the last thing that I want to do, I have to get them out. I was trying to be prepared and have everything out, but whatever. I think I did all right. I want to add in the little foil bits or whatever they're called at the tippy top. And I'm going to use these rose gold hearts. And they are from Simply Watercolor Co. And they are so cute. I love using these so much. So I'm going to go ahead and just sprinkle them at the top. So the top is going to be heavily foiled because we have the foiled date dots. And then I got the Hello February up there. But hey, ain't nothing wrong with that. I'm not going to really be using foil, I don't think, anywhere else. I might use foiled icons in this spread just to like really foil it up because it's going into February. And it's also Avery's birthday party week, so why not? And also rose gold is my favorite, like I said. So, and this is my first spread, I think in 2020. Yeah, this is my first 2020 spread using the rose gold. I haven't used it yet. So, oh, I think I was talking about my birthday spread and I was sad I couldn't use, and I think I just, you guys, I am so bad with telling stories. I am so bad, or like talking about anything in general. I just get so sidetracked. I think it's hard when you pre-plan. I feel like when you do voiceovers, it's so much easier to keep your thoughts straight. Well, I could be wrong, but I feel like it's a lot easier to keep your thoughts straight because I'm trying to process like, where do I wanna put stickers? How do I wanna plan this? What do I wanna do? You know what I mean? And so sometimes you have to like stop to think like what you're doing and then like adjust with the stickers you're putting down. So anyways, sorry that I'm all over the place. No, I am normally all over the place in general, like as a person, that is me. But I feel like whenever I'm doing pre-planning, I am more all over the place. But I am loving this so bloody much. It is so cute. But what I was trying to say quickly, if I can spit it out, is that for my birthday week, I am using silver, not hollow or rose gold because I'm doing a Ravenclaw kit and Ravenclaw and rose gold just don't look good together. And then also I really wanna foil it up and I don't have a ton of hollow foil. Did I finish that sentence? Like, did I finish that thought? I don't even know. If I'm repeating myself, I'm sorry, that's a hair. But all right, I'm gonna go because you know what? We are done here. So I hope you guys did enjoy this plan with me. I am so in love with this freaking kit. I can't wait to back plan Saturday. I think it's going to be really cute. I love the football sticker too. So cute. And I hate football, but that is cute. But all right, y'all, I'm going to go because now I'm just rambling. I hope you guys did enjoy this plan with me. Please give it a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe and I will see y'all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.